of people running for their lives after the shooting on the Vegas Strip. Now she's back home and News Channel 9's Brittany Martin met with her today. Brittany, where was she when that shooting happened? Stephanie Calvin, Taylor Yoder went to Vegas with her dad to celebrate her birthday. She was at a nearby casino and they had to walk through the crowd of people running away from gunfire to get to their hotel. Taylor Yoder was here overlooking Las Vegas on one of the strip's famous rides, the Big Shot. Just moments later, she gets a text saying there were shooters on the strip and to stay away. Yoder says she, her dad and stepmom were there together. They immediately tried to go back to their hotel. Kind of nervous because we knew that was close to our end where we were staying. When they tried to park their car in the garage, it had been blocked off. At that point, they'd heard there was more than one shooter and didn't know where to go. We didn't know if we could get back. We didn't know, like I said, didn't know how many or where or if we were safe where we were. Police now say it was a lone gunman, Stephen Paddock, who fired shots from his Mandalay Bay hotel room. But still not knowing, they were forced to walk to their hotel through crowds of panicked people, much like this. A lot of chaos because people were running everywhere. Um, they were all kind of coming from the same direction. They were sprinting, though. It wasn't a jog. They were sprinting. She says she could tell whatever happened had been bad, but didn't know how bad until they turned on the news. News, hearing that 58 people were killed and more than 500 were injured. It's unbelievable. Like, we had no idea it was that extreme. Yoder says the fun place she'd flown to spend her milestone 21st birthday had suddenly become dark and quiet. Seeing a place that never sleeps shut down completely was wild. I mean, it really was. Yoder says she and her stepmom actually talked about getting tickets to the Route 91 festival where the gunman fired into the crowd. She says she's thankful they were several blocks away and that her family is okay. Stephanie. Brittany, thank you. Today, the Clark County, Nevada Sheriff says a note left behind by the gunman had a series of numbers on it. Right now, they're still working to determine what those numbers mean. Becoming desensitized to severe storms. Coming up, see why people.